Hey there, pen fans. Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com. I just got a quick little troubleshooting video for you. So I'm holding this Conklin All-American pen. This has a Yovo number six size nib on it. And uh, my customer care team asked me if I could shoot a little video because we do get questions every now and then about nib and feed alignment. Now this is not just specific to this pen. It could be any number of pens that might have this issue. Let me show you a little close up what I have going on here. Excuse my hands, we had a snow day today and uh, my hands got really dried out. <laughs> So when you have the nib in the feed, you want it to be lined up like so. That's ideal state. Sometimes, not necessarily from Conklin, but from many manufacturers, they can get installed a little bit off to the side. That can kind of be for a number, number of reasons, but it can happen in transit. It can happen if you know, you're cleaning your pen and you're kind of messing with the nib and stuff like that. You, you know, there's a lot of different situations it could end up twisted like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that the pen is faulty or anything. Uh, I'm gonna show you why. But if you do want to line it back up, it's pretty simple. You basically just can use your fingernail even, and you just kind of push it back. You know, these things are friction fit in there, and then it's lined up again. So let me pull the nib and the feed out of the pen, okay? The way that I like to do it is I like to kind of wrap my finger around the nib. I don't touch the tip, and then I press my thumb on the back of the feed. And then I kind of put my hands together like this, and then I pull, just kind of sliding, pushing off my one hand with my right hand as I'm gripping it here. There are other techniques, but this is the one that I like to use. Um, when I pull this nib and feed out of here, you can kind of see how the ink might flow, right? So this part right here is connected to the converter, the cartridge, or whatever other part, the ink chamber, depending on the pen. You can see there's these two little channels right here. Sometimes it's one channel, sometimes it's two or more, depends on the different designer. But these channels right here, that's how the ink actually flows from the ink chamber all the way to the feed on the top. Now, this mates up to the back of the nib, which is all flat on the underside here. But up here, you have this breather hole, which is fairly large on Conklin. And then it has the slit, which you can just see right there, tiny little bit of, of gap. And then it kind of tapers towards the tip. So this is kind of an ideal state, right? Because ink is gonna flow, ink is mostly water. So that water is gonna flow by capillary action through the feed, then when it's properly mated to the back of the nib or the underside of the nib, then it's gonna allow that ink to flow up onto the top of the feed and it's gonna start flowing down that ink channel, excuse me, down the slit on the nib and then go to the tip and touch the paper and then your pen's writing just fine. Now, if it's off to the side a little bit like so, this is a rather extreme example and it could be installed like this on certain pens, um, you know, it's not gonna line up exactly uh, with that slit, you know, the feed channel on the feed. So it's not necessarily going to be problematic right away, but it could be in some circumstances. It may impede the flow just a little bit, depending on your ink, depending on your paper, your writing pressure, all various things. So it's not like, it's not like if it's like that, it's game over, you know, but it's not ideal state. So that's why if you just shift it back over, like I just did earlier, it's really helpful and it might uh, be a good first step rather than having to consider returning the pen or getting it fixed or something like that. It's a good thing that you can kind of do at home, uh, you know, just kind of know, which is why I'm doing this whole video. So again, if it's off to the side, because it's just friction fit inside there, um, all you gotta do is kind of looking at it like this, you just push it over with your fingernail. You might have to push it over a little further than you need to to have it spring back a little bit, but you really want it to line up right there. You can do this dry as I have it here, or you can do it inked. You might just get a little ink on your fingers, uh, but that's basically the whole process. Hope this is helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if it is or not. And if you have any uh, further troubles, you know, reach out to uh, my team at Goulet Pens and we'll help you out. Thanks everybody.